back everybody 19 minutes before uh gosh no i'm, I'm reading that completely long it's 11 minutes before nine o'clock wow all right 11 minutes until the weekend for me sorry for you okay it's been a long week i have to tell you that i i believe it's nice and cloudy outside so let's hope for the best that we have some decent rain not some hectic rain but let's see what happens all right, let's turn our attention to one of our neighboring countries now. And it's a bit of a bit of an issue happening there. The National Executive Committee of Lesotho Prime Minister uh, Pakadita Mosesidi's uh, party, Democratic Congress, has announced that it is withdrawing from the country's coalition government. In a media briefing led by the deputy leader Monyane Molaleki in Mosesidi's absence, the party called on all of its members who are ministers to withdraw. Uh, to resign forthwith. Monaleki says 20 MPs support this move and this leaves the coalition government with only 45 of the 120 seats of the National Assembly now making it a minority. In its sitting today, the NEC has decided to withdraw the DC from the coalition government with immediate effect. The NEC instructs all its members who are ministers to resign. The DC invites all parties in parliament to hold talks to form a government of national unity. The cat is finally out of the bag. The biggest coalition partner in the government of Lesotho has decided to withdraw. What remains is what will happen when parliament reconvenes on Friday. Chakwana Ngatani, SABC News, Maseru, Lesotho. All right, let's uh, now cross over to uh, our, um, we, we're going to be doing an interview now that uh, is uh, on hybrid. And uh, let's talk to, joining us from the capital, Maseru, uh, Ntokwana Ngatane. Uh, Ntokwana, good morning to you. Thank you very much for joining us. From what we're seeing and hearing here, um, and of course from your reports, it sounds like the infighting in the Prime Minister's party has been going on for some time now. Let's, let's begin there. How bad is the situation? Well, Leanne, uh, I can tell you that for months we have seen this fighting within the Prime Minister's party. When the party held a general or rather a leadership conference uh, about a month ago, he admitted himself, the Prime Minister, that there were two factions. One calls itself the Topi, loosely translated to girlfriends. Uh, these are people who are being courted. The other one calls itself the Rurubele or uh, butterflies. And both factions had been trying to uh, get into talks with the opposition, the opposite convention, and to try and uh, find more power so that it can split from the other. And so that's where we first saw uh, the biggest sign that there were problems. But also another section uh, of, of this party that held the media briefing yesterday prior to this actually came out uh, to fight or to, be, or to show that it is against a contract that has been awarded to South African company Bidvest Bank Limited to manage the government fleet. And that was quite unprecedented because it being a majority coalition partner in the government, one would think that they would be privy to what is happening in the government. So that move in itself said that there was a fallout between this faction and the faction that supports the prime minister. And the last move, of course, was yesterday when Deputy Leader Munyana Muleleki, Secretary General Levali Chate Mogosi, Deputy Secretary General Rafilo Dijobo, and other members of the executive the youth leader, in the absence of the treasurer, the youth league president, or the, rather the women's league president, and Musi City himself, made this major announcement to say that in a quorum of eight out of 16 members of the National Executive Committee, the National Executive Committee had decided to withdraw the party. It wants its ministers who are still in government to resign. Some have just been appointed, by the way, because some, about four, uh, were fired, and the deputy minister was also fired this week, and new ministers were appointed. And now they're saying all ministers who are members of the Democratic Congress must resign forthwith. They're also saying that they are now open to talks in Parliament to form a government of national unity with other parties in Parliament. I can tell you, I'm outside Parliament now, and I'm about, I'm about, about to walk in, mm. to see exactly what will transpire in this House today, yes? Yeah. 
I mean, there, there are a lot of reports as well that the deputy leader is in talks with the exiled leader of the opposition, Tom Tabane, to oust the prime minister. Uh, what, what does he say to that? Those reports have been very rife. As I say, the prime minister himself admitted at the party's leadership conference that he was aware that factions of the party were each trying to court the opposition. And Maloneke himself admitted to local media at some point that they were quite close to reaching an agreement. Even Kabani himself admitted that they were close to reaching an agreement. But the move yesterday says that they're cautiously approaching the subject because when we asked Maloneke if when they come to parliament today or in the coming weeks, they will try a motion of no confidence in the prime minister, which is the only move available in the constitution of Lesotho to, to get rid of a sitting prime minister. He said, no, they are not looking to do a motion of no confidence in the prime minister. But what they will do is that they will move from the government benches in parliament as members of the, one of the ruling parties. They will go to what is called the cross bench, which is between the government and the opposition benches. And they, that is where they are saying now openly, instead of holding clandestine meetings with members of the opposition, they will now openly get into talks with other parties in parliament, particularly the Obasutu Convention. He specifically said he wants, or they, the faction that supports him, wants a government of national unity with all the major parties. And a major party means the Obasutu Convention. Out of the 120 seats of parliament, the Democratic Congress has 47 seats, the Obasutu Convention has 46 seats. So at this point in time, all that is left for us to do is to wait and see what happens. He says they are willing to wait as long as possible. But what I can tell you is that uh, as of yesterday when this announcement was made, we asked him specifically how many members of the Democratic Congress support this move. He said 20. What that essentially means is that out of the 65 that formed the government of uh, co the coalition government, uh, that means the government is only left with 45 seats out of 120 in the National Assembly. That makes it a majority, a minority uh, government, rather. So, and he says that, he said that, he says that the Prime Minister is now leading a minority government. So we're waiting to see what happens in Parliament today, yeah? All right, let's leave it there. I know that we'll be getting updates from you throughout the entire day. Very interesting situation that's unfolding in uh, one of our neighboring countries, Lesotho, at this point. And watching it exceptionally closely for us is uh, Ntukwane Ngatane. Thank you very much for updating us and uh, about to make our way into the Parliament there in Lesotho. All right, that's it for this morning.